I'm re- I feel like this podcast, we're getting some really heavy hitters for shit. Like in terms of talking about anime. Oh. Like we we've already had like One Punch Man. Right. We had FMA. Granted, it wasn't the best FMA news. We had FMA. We had One Punch Man. And now we're here talking about Code Geass. Kukatsu no Lelouch. Code Geass. So here's the thing, right? So if you guys are wondering what the hell we're talking about. So, and of course it'll be linked down in the description box below. We're talking about an anime uh, film. A sequel anime film to the original Code Geass. There was an English subtitled video that was streamed by Sunrise. It does seem... I don't know who's going to be releasing this. I'm going to safely assume it will be Funimation. Because Funimation not only has the original series license, but they also licensed three compilation recap films. Which, I don't know if they released those. I don't think they released those in theaters. Right. I don't think. Maybe they did and I didn't realize it. But either way, uh, they released all three, at least in Japan already, those three compilation recap movies. You know how we feel about those. They could be really good, but they're recap movies. I feel weird about going to see them in theaters or at least going to uh, pay a lot of money on DVD for them, like more than like 10 or 20 bucks. Mm. I feel weird about it. And I think you do too. We've talked about that with the Death Note ones. Uh, I for oh it was the we were talking about the Attack on Titan once a few episodes right. ago and we felt a little weird about them, uh, but this is not one of those. This is not a compilation. This is a full on sequel. Right. So that's amazing. Yes, we talked about because in the article itself they do talk about the fact that the um, that Funimation has licensed the trilogy. So I assume we'll be getting these three movies within the next two three years uh, from Funimation, kind of trickled in. But this movie, we don't know much about it yet other than there was that little teaser that was released. And it looks like we just have, um, we have um, a C2 just kind of discussing a world post Lelouch's shit. Right. Like a world that is, you know, post everything Lelouch did. Right. His sacrifice, all of that stuff. Uh, and did kind it actually of see... go the way he planned? Find exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> No, but it's going to be very interesting because it's only going to be this one movie from the looks of it. They're right. not going to try to make a, tr- a, tr- a trilogy based off of it or anything like that. I know that there was another Code Geass show released in 2012 that never got brought over here. But I'm yes. pretty sure that was another universe, right? Yeah, I believe it was somebody yeah. else. Yeah, it was a spinoff. Uh, Code Geass Akito the Exile spinoff, which premiered it's, in 2012. It's a, so, But it's based in the same universe or it's something completely different? Uh, the reason why I ask, really sure. okay, the reason why I ask is because there was a bunch of manga, really good manga that um, that Sunrise released yeah. back in the, or at least Bandai Entertainment or Bandai uh, released back in the day. They're uh, super out of print now, but they were all in different universes and kind of like what ifs, where it's like what if Nunnally got the powers that right. Lelouch had? Yeah, I remember those. Really Friend interesting stuff. Those. Yeah, yeah I, I have a few of them as well. I don't know which uh, ones I have. I don't remember, but they're really interesting. Um, it's just right. that they weren't any sequels, if I remember correctly. They were all just either yeah. very strange out of, they were either, I don't think any of them were even direct adaptations because the anime came first. I think maybe there was one that was like a direct adaptation, but the rest were like random ass what ifs. Right. In this case though, this isn't a what if, this isn't a, you know, what would happen if, this isn't a, a prequel. This is a straight up sequel to... Right. Code Geass called Code Geass, like I said earlier, uh, I'm pretty sure I said the whole name, Fukatsu, or use it, Fukatsu no Lelouch, which yeah. means uh, like the resurrection of right. Lelouch, if you will. So I assume we're going to get to the point where in this in this uh, movie, where Lelouch is revered to as a god, and Light Yagami is super jealous. Light Yagami is like, what does a man have to do oh god, to be yeah. revered as a god? Lelouch didn't look at people's names and kill them, but who no, did? He got into a back and did them. Yeah, exactly. Um, either way, uh, let's see here. So how do you feel about this? Are you super hyped about this, Tristan? I'm looking forward to this, yes. Yeah, because you, you I have, would like to see this. You have it on DVD, which yeah. I, I, I always forget, but every time you say it, I'm like, dude. Like, I'm always so happy. Because I know you don't have funny. a lot of... Yeah, you have them... What was it? Well, because this series is like a gateway. This was a gateway anime for uh, mm-hmm. a friend of mine. So many people. 
Yeah, this is like his first anime, and he he loves the shit out of it. And every time I see it, I always think of him. So was it Toto or no? It was no. another friend of ours, no. right? It was another friend of ours. I remember who. Uh, let's see. But uh, I just want to mention. Okay, so uh, director uh, Goto Taniguchi confirmed that many of the key staff members are returning for the movie, and specifically emphasized that the story will be complete in one film, which will serve as a finale. Because I do believe, if I remember correctly. And it might have just been people at the time, because I remember I saw it live. Like, I saw it so live, it was in Japanese, p without subs. And I think I saw it after school. I saw it so live before it was cool when no, it didn't have no. subtitles. Fuck you. It was so <laughs> live. No, because it was one of those things where it was a, it was a time before Crunchyroll. So yeah. it was hard to even find anime like this because at the time Bandai hadn't, I think, licensed it in the U.S. yet. Or if they did, they licensed the first season. But you never know what could happen. They didn't license season two yet. So I found it like Japanese raw as it was airing in Japan. And mm -hmm. I was just mesmerized watching it. Right. And then I got to see it with English subtitles later. Right. Um, but Funny. it wasn't a gateway for me, but it was kind of close because my gateway, putting aside Dragon Ball Z, because at the time you and I didn't know it was anime, we just knew it was different. Right. So putting that one aside and putting the, you know, the Pokemon and the, and the, and the Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, and the Digimans, Death Note was my gateway. But this was a number two, I think, because these right. came out at around the same time uh, as anime. So this was mine, but this was also one of your first anime, I thought, outside of the, you know, the traditional stuff that we saw as kids. Didn't you see it at the time or no? I thought you saw it in high school with us. I did. I saw a few episodes. I believe it was when it was airing on Adult Swim where was it was later, that dark yeah. time where there was no tsunami, but there was anime it on was Adult Swim. So, it's so weird. Any of you guys don't know what we're talking about. There was the dark period. Uh, a dark time to be an anime fan which not really because there was some other avenues opening up for anime like Crunchyroll but yeah. when it comes to television anime yeah Toonami had been cancelled this, but Adult yeah, this Swim still, a still time had was pretty much specifically watching anime on television yeah. as it aired here in America yeah of course um, the dark because, yeah, yeah, well, it was, yes, but still it was nice because there was a fair amount of anime on television at the least. But what happened was out of nowhere, Toonami, at least to us anyway, it was out of nowhere, Toonami gets canceled. But Adult Swim still airs anime, but put their Adult Swim banner on the right-hand side, bottom yeah. right-hand corner, which is like, wait, but you canceled Toonami. Why couldn't you kidding. just have moved yeah, Toonami they... late night right. then? Because they, they aired Death Note, they aired Code Geass, they aired a bunch of anime Bleach. throughout the years. They that fucking was aired, big one. They aired almost all of Bleach without the Toonami banner on it. Yeah, that was the weird part. It was like, well, Bleach was still popular enough what? that Adult Swim was like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> no, but that's what's so silly, in a way, is that they could have kept Toonami going for years just with, like, three shows or something. Or, like, a mm -hmm. Toonami late night with, like, four shows. They didn't have to go crazy and put, like, all the uh, all the amount of shows they have on now. Right. Anyway, either way, I'm hyped for this movie. I'm hyped to have a finale. What I was trying to get at was, I remember a lot of people not being as happy with the finale for season two. Yeah. Or at least with season two as a whole, I think, the fandom is split on it. Yeah, that's so, true. So I do like that they're actually making something to serve as a finale, to serve as, like, a, a standalone movie that it's not going to be, like, three other movies. I'm happy. Are mm -hmm. you happy? Also, the huge cliffhanger at the end of two. It's not really, but it is kind of... Eh, I don't remember it as a cliffhanger, but I have to go back. But I, I kind of see what you're talking about, though. Yeah, there was a little bit of a... Kind of a cliffhanger, you're right. So I would like to see that wrapped up here. That would be really nice. So, I'm hyped. You're hyped. I hope you're hyped. Talk about it with us in the comments section down below. We'd love to hear what you think. I'll be sitting in my nightmare waiting. <laughs>